Today on Slime Lens, I've got two great cosplay characters with me. I've got with me... Armored Heart Cosplay. And... Rockus. And I'm J.P. Morgan. We're going to take a look at great cosplay photographs with Godox strobes, jumping, action, fun things. Let's see how we lit it. Let's see how we did it. Let's get started and see what we can do. So let's get to our shoot. Let's take a look at how we're going to light this thing. We're going to do some action where we're jumping on a trampoline, which really looks fun. And of course, there's lots of smoke involved because I think incredible images all have lots of smoke. The camera, your view, is really where the camera is going to sit. So now we're going to look at each of the lights on set in context to where the camera is. First light we set up this morning was right behind them. Up behind, way up in the back, above the backdrop, there's a Godox 400. It's got a blue gel on it and it's going to rim everything in the shot. It rims the smoke, it's going to rim the trees, it's going to put a little rim on them, but it just kind of sets the stage for our entire image because it rims everything from behind. That's the first light. So then the second light that we added here is one on the moon. It's got a grid on it, so it's a Godox 400. It's on the ground, it's got a grid on it. That grid is like a 20 degree grid and it's going to light the, it's going to light the moon and light the entire backdrop. It's going to give us a nice look of that backdrop. And mostly we put the grid on it so it's going to be hotter on the grid and just kind of spread out on the, the backdrop. When we had that light on the side, it was throwing too many wrinkles across the backdrop. That backdrop's not very smooth, but when we got it straight in on camera angle, Remember, when you put a light on camera angle at the camera, it gets rid of wrinkles. Well, that's what it did on our backdrop today. So down low, straight against that moon, brightens up the moon, and also gives us a little separation on the, uh, on the smoke from behind. Then we put two Godox 200s, one on each side with a little bit of blue on it to rim them from behind. So when each one of them will turn into the light, it's going to give them a nice rim light from the side. It's just get a little bit of drama, feels a little bit like the moonlight. And, I mean, obviously this is all fantasy lighting, but it gives you a little bit of strong light from the, this side, but there's a rim on each side. Then the last light we did is up front here. Small box. It's got a grid on it, so it really kind of keeps the area of coverage very small. And this is a light from underneath. You just open up the light. We struggled a little bit with this. Was it too bright? Was it too dark? To just give us enough light that it will light, and it's going to mostly light them from about the waist up. And we had it moved around from the side to the front depending on how their positions and what they were doing. So let's talk about the special effects we have going on in set today. The first off, we have smoke machines on each side. I've done this for years where I take a fan, you send the smoke through the fan, and now the fan can kind of direct the smoke to where you want it to go on set, especially where you're outside like this. There is so much wind and current, just even a little bit of current is going to push the smoke in a direction. That fan helps us to direct it where we want it to go. We have one on each side, so we can kind of have it come up into the set and hopefully to go forward, we get that backlight from behind that really makes it stand out and it'll envelop the people up front and it'll look really great. So let's talk about how we got some of them a little more action oriented images and it's with a small trampoline. This is not a, a acrobat trampoline. It's a very stable and it doesn't make you go very high. You don't have to go very high. It's just a matter of getting your legs off the ground enough to give you that kind of sense of motion. You don't have to jump up in the sky five or six feet or anything. It's just getting the legs up and bending to the side, and that gives you that really incredible sense of motion. I love Hollywood, because just about everything and anything you could ever want, you can find somewhere in Hollywood. These are fake, fake rocks that we get from Green Set. We've gotten them for years. Go down there with a the truck, and you just pick out the ones you want. They load them up, and you bring them back. They're not light. You'd think a fake rock would be light, but these are not light. In fact, this one's on wheels, because it's pretty heavy to move around. And that gives us our depth. And of course, the broken up trees we have here was a dead tree we had in the backyard that Jolene said we should cut down. And so we did. So there's our entire set. A couple of rocks, a couple of trees, background behind, and we're good to go. I love this about the Godox system. What I have here is all of my strobes are on the same channel. So when I fire this right here, it's going to fire all of my strobes. But I have them in different groups. So it's just nice because I've had other systems where I can't tell where my power setting is. And, but here I can see exactly where it's at. I can fire from here. I can go up and change to my different channels. I'm using them on manual. I'm not using them on TTL because I've got a manual setting on my camera. I know exactly what I want to balance to. So each one of them are on manual. So it's just a really nice system, very turnkey. I don't know how many we shot, but we shot a lot. We shot a few. Yes. If we didn't shoot a thousand images, I'd be surprised. Well, maybe 500. I think who's it's closer be, to a thousand actually. Editing, uh, Julene is. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Julene. Thank you, Julene. <laughs> Edit away, and let's pick some great images. Let's take a look at those images now.
So there you go. Was that fun? Yeah, yeah very fun. <laughs> that was the first cosplay shoot I've ever done on a trampoline, so it's a first for me. Good for the glutes. Yes. As you know, we had him jumping, doing great motion in the air. It really worked out fabulous. Thank you very much for doing this for me. Thank you. So I want the two of you to talk to me a little bit about cosplay. I mean, I know characters make incredible costumes, as you both do. So how do you do this? What do you, what do, you do to create these? So basically, we have gotten very good at film work, at 3D printing, at painting, at wig work, and makeup. So we're basically our own film studio rolled into two very tired people. <laughs> so. so you do all this yourself? You're 3D printing this? So do you do this for shows and for events and? Uh, kind of for everything. So we generally like to go to conventions. That way we can meet other people and fans and just uh, be part of the community. So, but uh, we have also been to movie premieres and other outside events in LA. Uh, so yeah. So thank you very much for joining us on this crazy cosplay shoot. More of this kind of stuff to come because I love doing this kind of fantasy stuff. So I'm excited to do more in the future. And those Godox strobes really did their job on set. These two were fabulous. So tune in the future, we'll have more of this. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking.